Welcome back to Peck Brothers Off-Road. This last week, we put the camera down to see how much we could get done without filming. And in this video, we're going to show you how far we got. You guys may be thinking that these Jeeps are ready to pull out of the garage. Well, I got news. They're not. They're not even close. In fact, my Jeep keeps going backwards for some reason. Last time you guys saw it, it had axles, all the suspension done, and now it's just a bare frame. It looks like nothing happened here. But I did get some stuff done. In one of the last videos, you guys saw me and Caleb make this cross member right here. This week I was able to cut it in the middle and make it removable as well as add two more big gussets so that when force is applied to the front, it distributes the force to the back, therefore making it stronger. The problem I was having is I can't put a through bolt through these because it hits this and all of the welding inserts I found don't sit flush into the metal. So what I did was I went and bought a bunch of half inch nuts, ground all of the hex off so they're perfectly circle, put a chamfer on it, drill the hole and put them in the hole. So now all we gotta go do is weld all these, grind them flat, and then I can just thread bolts straight in. I don't have to hammer a bolt clear through, and it actually worked out pretty good. I also trimmed our cross member down that we made that was pretty big to hit the tub. I still don't know if it's gonna fit with the tub on, but I think that's gonna give us a lot less to cut on my tub. But I feel like I got nothing done. Which kind of sucks, because it was a long week and a lot of hours. You look pretty disappointed about what you got done. I think you got a little ways, dude. Well, the only good thing is the cage now is pretty much done. a lot of work. It was a ton of work, but if you would have seen this thing two weeks ago, it didn't look a whole bunch different. Relax. So I get a lot of crap from my brothers for being kind of a perfectionist, and a couple of these bars weren't perfect. And a guy with a third eye, and a guy with a third eye, a guy with a third eye. <laughs> Is there a better way to say that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Could have probably seen the problems that I had here. So I redid a couple of bars and I'm finally to the point where everything is cl as close as I can possibly get it. And I'm happy with how it turned out. There were three things that were really important to me on this cage. And that was this A pillar goes all the way down to the floor and bolts to the floor while going through the dash and all the ducting. And that was really tough to get through there and miss everything that we needed to. The second thing that was important was these dang latches on the windshield. Jeep put them in a terrible location to be able to do a full roll cage with. And when you got a straight bar across here, you can't take your top on and off with these dang latches. They are a pain in the butt. So I came up with this design to be able to swivel that latch all the way up and miss this by about a quarter of an inch. The third thing that was most important was that I could get this sound bar up behind me but above my head to where I could reach the on and off button with my hand as well as tuck it up so I didn't have any vision problems looking through the rear view mirror. So that's how far I got this week on the roll cage. I took it from about 40% done to about 82.5% done and I can't really finish it until the body goes back on the frame and I know where those last few bars are to mount the seats and stuff like that, so. How do you uh, calculate the 82%, 82.3? I did some math last night. <laughs> the parabola or two. That's the plan for next week. We'll finish this baby up and uh, get moving on it. So that leaves you. <laughs> what on earth did you do all hey, week? These guys must not have been doing nothing because I actually got somewhere this week. Get out of here. I finally got done, well, 90, let's see. You're not even close to 90. No, I'm 90-ish percent done mounting my radiator and intercooler and grill 
I had to fully rethink the way that my radiator is mounted into my Jeep. And the way that I did it was I made a new bottom plate that the radiator sits on with a piece of rubber and then made two pieces off the frame that the radiator mounts to and used these little rubber isolated bushings because I don't want this puppy cracking. After I got that radiator mounted as close to that fan as I dare go, then I mounted my intercooler to the radiator. And this thing barely fits. I honestly didn't know if it would fit until I got it done yesterday. I was in here jumping for joy because I honestly had no idea if it was actually going to work. I'm sure I'm gonna have to cut my hood. I'm sure I'm gonna run into plenty of problems, but this intercooler and radiator are finally mounted into the Jeep. Each one of us has probably put in somewhere around 80 hours this week. We're exhausted. It's been rough. Between trying to get these Jeeps done, making sure the website's running smooth, answering comments, DMs, and planning future videos, we're freaking tired this week. So, we're gonna go golf. And if any of you guys think that we're any good at this, you're wrong. Lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about this rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how you find the hope, but still gonna go legitimate? I'm feeling this is gonna just not go very good. What are you talking about? It always goes good. When we're golfing, when we're together, it's all good. The last time I golfed was this time last year. How about you? Gentlemen, it's probably been at least a year. It's been a minute, but it's just like riding a bike, going pee, or eating chips and salsa. It just don't, you never lose it. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. Yeah, you lost that one. Yeah, that ball's gone. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a sticker. That's that feels good. That, that, that kind of hurt my arm. That makes me, I hope it hurts. Well, I'm in the car by myself. I think they're going to be looking for their balls for a minute, so I'm just going to go take it easy by my ball. We're going to be looking for mine for a while. Go to bed. Yours is still on the grass. I think mine's over by that tractor somewhere. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yours should be like right here somewhere. Okay, there it is. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, that was a dame. We're looking for Cabe's ball over by the tractor and... You know what ain't good when you've got to go digging in the no. golf cart. When you got to put the golf cart in four wheel drive, that's not a good shot. Yeah. We'll just count that one as your breakfast ball. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, that's not that bad. One stroke in, we've only lost one ball. That's not bad. No, that's a good ratio, one to one. Yeah. Oh, your ball's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing in the sand? Looking for a good beach towel and a chair. Doing some tanning. <laughs> Here it is. Oh! Hey! Were you, were you in, were you aiming for that tree? <laughs> I, well, it's pretty close to the pan. Dude, that was good. Dude, that was, I aimed for the tree, thought it was going to hit the tree and come back, but it went a little bit that way, so. All right, we got pushed out by some pretty serious golfers. I think they saw a range finder up there. Yeah, yeah, we're letting them play through. Um, I don't want to, well, I don't want to get hit. That was a par. A par five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So uh, I think you're like one I'm over. down for like a bogey. I'm eight. That was a par four. All right, so I'm four over. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. I thought I did pretty good. Oh, you, wait, what did you get? I got a double. Double? And you got a double? I was way less than you. Oh. That's what I thought. You was less than me. Don't give me that. Wow. Wow. That was the best golf ball I've ever hit in my life. Wow! I think you got the closest here. No, it was me. <laughs> How many shots did Caleb get? I was five. Yeah. Part three. I think that's only two over. That's not bad. Yeah, but how many did you lie about? 
Well, at least. At least one. What'd you get? I got four. Whatever. Dude, you saw my first hit. That was <laughs> BS. Yeah, right. All right, this is a good hole for us. This is where you can just swing as hard as you can. We've got to make it in through that little tiny opening. <laughs> What'd you get, Gabe? Eight. I got eight. Whatever. I did. I counted 12. I got eight, and I didn't even lose a ball. Okay. We'll give you an eight on this one. What'd I don't care if it's out? not as good as you guys. I didn't lose a ball. I got seven. Come on. You did. Seven. I'm like, seven. You ain't got seven. Nothing. I counted it with seven. No. <laughs> yeah, I saw you. Back and forth 30 times. Well, that was practice. We tied. <laughs> At least. Seven, Brad. Okay, guys, I got an idea. What? We got to spice things up a little bit. I was thinking make, the same thing. Make things fair we've for Cabe. We've got to make things fair for me. These two are right hand mm -hmm. We're not, golfers. Yeah, no. I'm left. So you guys are using my club. No. And I'm using you guys'. No, you guys use the wrong hand club, so it makes, makes it so it's fair. No. Oh. I think you're going to hit the same regardless. <laughs> <laughs> this really isn't fair. This is weird. I feel like my forehead's going to get hot <laughs> you to do this. Your forehead? Hurt. Yeah. But here's the thing. Alex is actually left-handed. He writes left-handed. He bats left-handed. He throws left-handed. Brady's actually right-handed. This weird junk is fine for them. I'm the only one that's truly okay, right-handed every day. I, I think we've had enough talking. I hate these two. <laughs> Get Alex. If I have a smoke, I like these two ever again. Catch me. You still talking? <laughs> Let's see if you can get a seven on this one. <laughs> no matter what he gets, he's going to get a seven. If I hit the ball, I get a seven. Yeah, Quiet hit down. it. Quiet, I'm Hurry. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey! All right, run up there and hit it again. <laughs> I want to redo that. Okay, so I've got to hit it this way. What the flip? Which hand's forward? <laughs> <laughs> that went further than Alex's. Don't brag. Don't brag. <laughs> we topped them all. Alex hit it over that tree and onto this back tee box. But you got to play it where it lies, big guy. Yeah, absolutely right. Play it where this it lies. Oh, my gosh. Flip. <laughs> play it where it lies. Oh, fine. How on earth did... You can't do that. Can't do Cannot. Stamp it. Can't do double stamp it. No erases. Mm, that cart's not in a good spot. What is this? A seven? <laughs> okay, what'd you guys get on that one? I got an eight. Seven. Alex didn't get. <laughs> Definitely nothing. didn't get a seven. He got a nine, at least. Wow. We're down, go. I'm gonna call air traffic control. Right, if you give me one more crap about the thing, I don't score. lie. I just accept it. I don't lie about it. Well, what are you at? I don't even know, but I'll count it up and I'm going to be honest. Play it where it lies. <laughs> Hang on, Brad. We'll be there in a minute. I got a six. No. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. I counted. You hit a tree. Oh, right coon. <laughs> They caught you All three. right, not counting the tree that I hit, because that Which came right tree? back to me. I didn't. If you don't have to move <laughs> and hit it again, it doesn't count. So we're losing yeah. Alex, but me and Brady are gonna keep it going strong. We're gonna fi finish here strong. And somehow Alex is still gonna beat me on strokes after through the whole game. Through the I'm whole sure. game, yeah, and we've got a couple more holes. Yeah. Absolutely. Peace out. That was fun. Since we lost Alex, we're gonna try and even up the score. We're gonna play a little muscle memory golf. You have to have your eyes closed on your swing. You can get a practice swing with your eyes open, 
but your swing's got to be eyes closed, and you've got to hit it as hard as you can hit it. I got this. Here we go. Hey, that's pretty good. Dude, it's right by the sand trap. You ain't gonna be yeah, able to see that. How close that is the green. I'm clear out there. What are you hitting? I'm hitting them. This one says L on it. L? It's pretty steep. I don't know. I'm trying to get this thing up over the sand trap. Thought I had a little bit of backspin. You're just on, on the other side of the green now. <laughs> calculated how are you there. feeling about that one that was good wow dude <laughs> flip i hope you can see that on camera If you like this kind of video, let us know in the comments. We will be back next week.